guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today we have my makeup basket for the month of August. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little recap of what was in here this past month. Um, I'll let you know what I want to keep in here for another month and what I'm going to take out. And then we will go through my makeup collection together and select a new set of products for the upcoming month. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the recap of the July products. So in this top section, we have kind of my base products. So I had two foundations in here last month, the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation and the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Um, I mostly wore the Physicians Formula one because this one is in my project pan and I'm making a lot of progress on it. Honestly, I think this will be done within a couple months. So I am going to keep this in here until it's done. Um, and I will go ahead and take out the CoverGirl one. I only reached for it a couple times this month. It is really similar to the Physicians Formula one. I do really like it. It is a bit dark for me, so in some ways it might actually be good to continue using it over the summer. And I probably still will reach for it from time to time, but I don't feel like it's necessary for me to have it in the basket for another month. I think I'd like to maybe rotate something else in its place for now. So um, that I will go ahead and take out. A couple of concealers that I had in here, the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and the Jordana Take Cover full coverage concealer, <coughs> full coverage concealer. Um, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and take both of these out. I feel like I've tested them both quite a bit and I will be updating you on my thoughts on them in an upcoming haul update because these were both in a haul video a couple months back. Um, I've tested both out enough times to where I feel like I can review them. So um, I'm gonna take these out and rotate in some that I haven't used in a while. So those will be leaving. This was um, this was in there to go along with the CoverGirl foundation since it's too dark. Um, the Ulta foundation adjusting drops. These will also be leaving because I don't really need them with any other foundations. I also had a primer in here, the Jordana Prime no pores pore refining face primer um this i am going to keep in here for another month because i still kind of want to test it a few more times before i review it the first aid beauty eye duty triple remedy i am going to possibly declutter this my parents are coming to visit me next week actually and i want to see if my mom might want this i just I don't know, I just forget to use it, I don't reach for it, and it looks like I've used it a lot, but I really haven't. Um, I've, I've had it since like last fall, and I just have used it so few times that I'd like to pass it on to someone. If my mom doesn't want it, maybe I'll see if a friend wants it or something, but I just think I want to go ahead and declutter this, because I keep telling myself I'm going to use it, and then I just don't, so... If I can't find anyone who wants it, then I will just go ahead and use it. There's that. And then the Pixie Glow Mist. This has been in here probably for the last six months, I would guess. I love this product. I think I am going to take it out because I do want to use my other setting spray that I've barely used in a while because um, I've just been using this one so much and I don't want to just neglect my other ones, so I am going to go ahead and take that out as well. I really do want to kind of start fresh with a lot of things this month. And then I had several cream products. We had the Flower Blush Balm in Pinched, the Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick, and the Becca um, Liquid Highlighter in Champagne Pop. And I think I'm going to leave the Blush Balm in for another month. I just like it for summer. Um, same with the Jordana contour stick. I'm just really liking this right now, and I just want to keep using it. And it's the only, it's really the only true contour product I own. Most of the other things I have are more like bronzers, more warm toned. This is truly cool toned, and it, it's really impressive to me that such an affordable brand has an actual cool toned contour product because I feel like these are pretty hard to come by at the drugstore but I, I am really enjoying that so I'm going to keep it for another month in there and I will go ahead and take the Becca liquid highlighter out because I want to use some other highlighters instead. The face powder I've been working on for a long time, the Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder in Fair. Um, I repressed it in Hip Pan again this month and I do want to keep this in here pretty much until it's done, so that'll just stay until until it's finished. My Wet n Wild Blush in Rosé Champagne is going to stay because it's in my Project Pan. My Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce, I really enjoyed this this month. This is such a nice bronzer. Very, very warm. 
and pretty light, so this would be one that would be good for those with lighter skin tones. Um, I am going to take this out and try to focus on something else. I did just buy a new bronzer that I think I want to put in here for next month. And then my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells quad. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> um, I am going to keep this in here again because... Again, it's in my project pan. On to some eyeshadows. All of the eyeshadows that were in my eyeshadow roulette for the month were in here. So I had one from the Milani palette, the Stila Glitter in Gold Goddess, two from the Modern Renaissance palette, and then one from the new Dude palette. These I am going to take out because I have a new round of, of eyeshadows that um, I've already pulled out. So those are ready to go in here. Finally, just some kind of basic products. The NYX Glitter Girl, the NYX Glitter Glue I will take out because um, I was mostly just using it to go with the Stila Glitter and I don't think I'll be having another glitter eyeshadow in here this month so I don't need this pulled out. The CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara is just the one mascara that I have open right now so that will stay. And then I had two brow pencils last month mostly because I was testing out the e.l.f. Um, ultra precise brow pencil whoops and I also have the covergirl one I like the covergirl one just a little bit more because the tone is a little bit better for me um, but I feel like I have let's see which one do I want to keep in here next month uh, maybe I'll go ahead and keep the elf one it's because it is newer to me um, and I don't really need to have two brow pencils in my basket so yeah I'll go ahead and um, take out the covergirl and keep the elf one in all right, so here we have um, this bottom drawer um, where I keep lip products and then pretty much anything that doesn't fit up here. By the way, I do get asked occasionally where I got this. I got this from a thrift store. Um, it, I think it's called a mail sorter. I'm pretty sure you could find something similar either at an office supply store or I was at TJ Maxx yesterday and I saw some similar ones but they didn't have a drawer at the bottom. So check places like that, any kind of like office supply or like office organization type place or section of a store you might find something similar but this actually says that it on the back it says it came from home goods but like I said I got it from a thrift store so who knows how old it is but any anywho let's move on um, so down in this bottom section I have my elf HD under eye powder this is just such a good powder um, but I think I, I will swap it out with my Besame one I kind of just want to alternate back and forth between the two so I will go ahead and take that out the Becca Highlighter in Champagne Pop. Oh my gosh, I, I love this highlighter so much more than... I mean, I knew I was going to like it, that's why I bought it, obviously, but it has exceeded my expectations. I totally see the hype behind these. I have not been able to put this down for a long time. I am going to go ahead and take it out of my makeup basket, though, just because I need to focus on some other things, but um, I probably will still use it throughout the month, just not from my basket. My Lauren Burke Cosmetics blush, I'm not even going to show you, but just stay tuned for my project pan update, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I had another single eyeshadow in here that wasn't part of my eyeshadow roulette, but I wanted to focus on it because it had been a while, and it's the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in the shade Soiree. I really like this eyeshadow. Um, eventually I might want to try to pan it, but not now. <laughs> so I will go ahead and take this out of the basket because I have enough <laughs> to focus on for next month, but um, this will definitely be in mind as something I need to keep rem remembering to use. This Urban Decay pencil sharpener, this is always in here, and this is my eyeshadow primer that I've been using, the Jordana Continuous Almond Jumbo Pencil. I'm using it as my eye primer. That will stay because it's in my project pan. Another couple of project pan items, and then I'll shut up about <laughs> my project pan. Um, the Milani Lip Liner in Spice and the Jordana lip liner in Rose Crush. Those will stay as well. Other lip products I had in here, um, these were all part of my Four Weeks Four Lipsticks series. I will link that if you want to catch up on that or if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'll just link it below, but um, those are the four lipsticks that I focused on um, this month. Definitely really enjoyed them, especially the Red Apple Lipstick in Beachside. It's like a tan nude. And I wore this so many times. It really made me fall back in love with that formula. So those will be leaving and being swapped out with four new ones. And then I also had my Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick in Mango Sorbet. I only wore this once or twice, but 
Oh boy, did I love this color. This is such a vibrant red-orange so pretty for the summertime. I'm very glad that I decided to put this in here last month because it wasn't in my four weeks for lipsticks, but I wanted to wear it in the summer. And I find that this one wears a little bit better than the really light nude color that I have. Um, just FYI. And then the Milani lip liner in True Red. I will take that out because that I was mostly wearing with the red lipstick that I had in here, Madame Glam Cherry Wine. But I don't think I will need to have this in here this next month, so I'll take that out as well. Okay, so it's kind of hard to show all this, but these are all the things that I'm taking out. These are all the things that will be staying for another month. Um, and now let's go ahead and dig through my makeup collection down there um, and pick out what else we want to add. All right, so here's my kind of base drawer. So I already have that Jordana primer in there. I'm thinking for concealer, I want to use the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I have it in the shade Fair. I've only used this a handful of times, so I definitely want to give it some more attention. And I also haven't used, let's see, a couple, well, I really haven't used either of these very much lately either. Thinking I'm gonna pull out the Too Faced one just because it's just been a while since I've used it. This one isn't very high coverage. It's almost more like a corrector, um, but it can be worn alone as a concealer. And then this one is a little bit higher coverage, so that'll be a good uh, couple of options to have. For foundation, so I already have the Physician's Formula Foundation. I may just leave that one in there. Maybe I'll add my Balm Shelter, just because I do really like this one in the summertime. Um, but you know what? I honestly kind of just want to focus in on my Physicians Formula one, and it almost can be worn as more of a tinted moisturizer if you use a sheer amount. So I feel like I don't really need anything else besides that one in there this month. Um, I did want to pull out my Besame powder as an under eye setting powder. And this, I'm sad to put this back in here. I mean, obviously I can still use it, but I do want to focus again on my NYX Dewy Finish setting spray because I just haven't used it in a long time. And I think that is going to be it for this drawer. All right, so in this drawer I have blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Um, so I have my two blushes that are in my project pan. Those are both powder blushes. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, and I also have my Flower Beauty Blush Balm. So that is enough blush for me. Um, but for bronzer, I want to use my Butter Bronzer. I just recently bought this, so this isn't like a true shop my stash because it is new to me. But I, f I finally bought this after having heard about it for a very long time. I, I think I just got the original shade, which is called Bronzer. Um, honestly, all the different shades looked really similar, but I am excited to have this, so I want to use it um, this month. What are some things that I haven't used in a while from here? Let's see. I've been wearing my Becca highlights so much that I really haven't used this as much, and this is the Physician's Formula Natural Nude Highlighter Shimmer Strips, and I love it because it's so customizable. You have all these different tones in there, so um, that's probably all I'm going to need for highlight this month. And then I do kind of want to pull out a cream highlight, though. I think I'll pull out the CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Lotion I have in the shade 1 Daybreak. I haven't used this in forever, and this can actually be used as a primer or a liquid highlighter, or I guess it's more of a cream highlighter. Honestly, this actually might be really similar to the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. Well, it's a little bit darker, maybe. Okay, yeah, they do look different. Similar, but different. This is more of a lotion kind of texture. But yeah, this is one thing that I have been neglecting for a while, so um, I'm excited to use that this month. And I have that cream contour, cream highlight, cream blush. So that gives me three cream blush contour and highlight products, and then also an option for powder for everything too. So that I think is good for this drawer. Alright, so next we have my eye drawer. Um, I did go ahead and pull out the eyeshadows that were selected for my eyeshadow roulette, but we have the Terremare Mineral Eyeshadow in Bronze Moonstone. Then I have, I really need to get a smaller <laughs> place to store single eyeshadows, but we have Makeup Geek Venom, Incense from the Norvina palette, Cheeky from the Opposites Attract palette from e.l.f., and then 
Kobari from the Billy Beauty Eyes of India palette. So it's an odd mix of colors, but those, that's a lot of eyeshadow to focus on. That's a lot of different palettes to have. Well, it's three palettes and then two singles, but um, I don't really feel like I want to pull out any other, well, I do want to play with my Profusion Spectrum palette because I haven't even used it yet and I am wanting to do that haul update very soon. So I better get moving on this one, huh? <laughs> so I think I will also put that in there. Um, hopefully do some fun, colorful looks this month. That is plenty of eyeshadow in my opinion. I'm gonna just leave it at that. And then I already have my eye primer. Let's see. I really want to use my NYX Epic Ink Liner some more. I feel like this is probably going to dry out soon. I mean, it's still working fine, but it's something that I neglect a lot. And so I do want to pull this back out and get some use out of it this month. I don't wear winged liner or liquid liner every day, but I do like to wear it sometimes. And let's see. I think I'll leave it at that for now. So that's it for that drawer, and then for the lips, um, I again already pulled out my whoops, my four lipsticks for the month that um, were selected for my four weeks for lipsticks. They're all very nude, kind of either rosy or peachy nude colors. So I do want to at least pull one other color out, and I don't want to just wear those. Let's see. So this is the lip liner that goes with that profusion. These came in a duo together, so I do want to wear both of these. They're both in the shade Secret. And then I'm thinking, let's see, since summer, let's see, August is, I guess, kind of the last month of summer. I want to pull out my Physicians Formula Healthy Lip in Tulip Treatment because it's just like the perfect summer red. And I really want to get some more use out of this this summer. And what else? Is there anything else? I think that'll be it for this month. I think five lipsticks and my makeup basket is plenty. So here's everything all together. I feel like this is a really fresh new set of products. I had been keeping a lot of the same items in here from month to month and um, I you know, wanted to kind of take those out so that I could really start fresh. Obviously some of the things are the same, mostly the Project Pan stuff, um, but some of these things I haven't used in ages like the CoverGirl Go Glow lotion, the um, NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, and I'm really excited to really dig into this Profusion Spectrum palette because I really haven't used it since I bought it, which is sad. <laughs> um, I mean, it's definitely a very specialized palette, but um, so that's that, and then here's everything that's in this drawer. This pencil sharpener wasn't able to fit, but that's fine. I'll just put it back in my um, drawers down there. Lots of lip products this time. But yeah, that is pretty much everything for this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I do these videos at the beginning of each month, so definitely look forward to a recap on all of these a month from now. Um, I do lots of videos about shopping my stash and project panning and all sorts of other stuff in between, so I'd love to see you again very soon, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!